Country Beekeeper Show. This episode is brought to you by Nature's Image Farm. If you're interested in nukes, packages, queens, or supplies, visit us on the web at naturesimagefarm.com. Do you want to help support the show? Follow us, Dan and Christy, on Facebook and Instagram at Red Dog Ranch. Our bees are in this condition right now at this point in time. Okay, so in the past we've used 90% rubbing alcohol. You can see me process all this information and it was thanks to a listener who asked us to take a video on how we do a wash. So we did a wash and we thought, hey, Dan just brought over this Dawn Ultra dish soap. You and I were talking about, hey, Randy Oliver had some information out there. And yeah. um, if this work, if this works just as good, then why go, why use alcohol? All day long. And so I don't want to come off like an old grump um, when it comes to these kind of things. But you I are just, old. Turn right onto County Route 9. It's it's fresh. <laughs> Another 40 joke. I mean, you guys just don't stop. You just don't stop. just described right now Green splits but we're beyond conservative is that crazy to say we're making five and six seven frame splits here's what we're gonna do hey here's a local self serve Bruce's honey Look, we'll swap it. How about that? Local self serve. <laughs> ah, got me. I got me, man. He caught me. Somebody come by your honey. What's up, Mom? Yeah, swap it. I got it. Well, hey there folks, it's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I'm doing bees in Dothan, Alabama today. So, I can't welcome you to Southeast Louisiana. I have to welcome you to South Alabama. They call that LA for Lower Alabama. I hope you enjoyed the ride over. A few little clips of my ride over left really early this morning. There's a certain person that's gonna be here, you've got to go. None other than Greg Burns. Well, hey guys. Mike, good to see you. Yeah, so we came all the way down here to see him. Well, actually, we came to see Bruce, too. What's up? So, anyway, we were in well, Dothan, Alabama. The is you heard Bruce was buying dinner tonight. Well, I did. I told my so. wife, there's dinner involved, so I'm going. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> that's why I drove so far. Right. And we are here. And I'm, I'm really happy to be here. It's good to get together with other beekeepers. It's really fun to get together with other media creators. Yeah. Media creators. I can't, call, I can't believe he called me one of those things. Well, but that's why I said media creators, not YouTube creators, because he's you've he's you've funny. been a little slack. I, I know, but uh, he's a busy, busy he's man. Not, he's not busy. What are you talking about? Yeah, he's he's <laughs> making a living. So anyway, we're gonna get going, and we're gonna see what's going on out here and what Bruce has for us today. He has a lot in store for us today. He's gonna work us like dogs, yeah, that's but that's what he does. That's how he can get away with having so many hives and being the single beekeeper. Sure, but they've really gone back. They're not very healthy. Um, could not find the queen. I was going to mash her and put a new queen in there, but instead I pulled a split off. So what's today? See, it looks Thanks pretty weird. I'm right? not sure how many. Yeah, it should be fine. I'm not sure how many. We're not planning on releasing them there, are we? We're just going to. No, you, but you, you pinched the queens Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. So they may have just started some cells. Yeah. Right. So where do you want to start? I want to start right here <laughs> on this little one here. I think it's it's not going to have very many bees. I hope it has enough, but we'll see. If not, we can add some brood from a different okay. hive or something. Uh, it's starting. See how the brood is getting spotty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she's full pretty good with that everything else. Those hives are a lot of them. Those hives are a lot of them. Yep. They're tiny. They're first stars. And yeah, see, I'm worried about them. Yep. So I don't know. Do you think I got enough bees in here? Do you guys think I got enough bees in here for that queen? Or do you think I need to put some more bees in here? Put some more else. Yeah, I think you're gonna lose. You might lose the queen. Not, 
you need some more bees. What about just dropping a frame of bees in here from another hive? Or put bees. that, I, I, what I would probably do is take those and stick them in at the top of one of these doubles if those need, if those aren't charged all the way. See, most of these colonies, like a month ago, were honey bound basically. Yeah. So that's what they've done. I guess we've gone into the dark. What was that? Wire. That's where I think we did. I did a probably I don't know. It's an old it's fishing string. Yeah. That's an that's old, old one school. I got from somebody. Yeah, we could we could probably just we could probably just recycle that. Yeah, out. but look at the back. Is that getting? Is it put that over? Uh, I think that's what did I mean. Okay, it got smashed. Never mind. Making sure. Sometimes when that hive beetles go to eat, I'm not to opposed to some string cycling some way. frames out if I need to. I just don't want to end up with that. Where's that? Yeah. Where's that solid honey or uh, pollen frame? Put that one. Next to the honey on the outside. Yeah. Maybe these bees back here usually aren't too bad. There's only one hive back here that's pretty nasty. We're going to have great weather and nice bees while he's here. I'm telling you. <laughs> that's fine with me. I'll take them both. We could rehome that, I guess. You guys have got the empty box now. Man, look at that. So we're going to basically have to do look at all that brood. Oh my gosh. Look at that brood. Wow. I hope you lost uh, part of it. You're losing your home. Wow, so we're gonna have to kind of do a quick little cut out here and uh, get these in regular frames so we can manage this thing going into the future. That is so awesome. Isn't that cool, Greg? That is cool. Got a flat lid? Uh, a flat lid. Just lay that thing down flat. Yep, you're gonna have to lay it on the side. Yeah. So you see the next adventure? That's what's gonna happen. I'm finally gonna get my annual cutout done. Did I do one this year? I don't think. I think Jeff invited me, but I didn't go. That's good. Let's do, yeah. Let's do it this way. Yeah. Let's do this way. Bert, look at that. Thinking. This is one heck of a how-to video. I hope someone was filming that. Uh, I ain't doing no how-to. I'm going to lay it down <laughs> yep. on this side here. <laughs> That's an awesome picture. Bruce is rolling. Okay. Mike, do you see a queen on your side? I do not. I'm looking, though. I'm, I don't see her over here. This is so cool. Um, I'd say lay it on this side, Greg. I think we're good. You can hang the edge. I would hang the edge of that lid over the side of the, so that they lay flat. They don't. There's actually there's two combs. Yeah, there's two combs. We're gonna take a chance. With the one. And our luck should probably be in there. But she good. will. All right. Perfect. How pretty is that? Isn't that awesome? Is that not working? Uh, it might be. I don't know how to check it. Bruce, got your camera? Bees are mean. Yeah, I don't. I have a technique for those, but I don't have the right size of the band. I'm gonna cut out the comb to fit in the frame here. Use that. You can use it high to actually cut. Cool. Save that piece. You guys get hammered yet? Get this done? Not bad. You hold that. Okay, oh, yeah, I got two already on already. Alright, ready to go. Alright. I think I should just. I'm gonna pick you on a video. Or, 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 Mark, are you rolling? Oh, yeah. Rolling? I'm rolling. No, I'm looking for it. Just make sure it's squared in there real good. That's what we want to do. Look at that really big long bee with that yellow dot on it. That's cool. That's a cool looking bee. That's good. Yeah, at least another one. Get on the 
on that end. Okay, yep. Yeah. Alright, now we need to find the queen. <laughs> she, uh, have you been through those frames yet? I have not been through any. Nope, I haven't. Can we, can we checkerboard these? Does that keep them straight or is that going to make a mess? What do you mean? Mike, what do you think? You can checkerboard the rubber bands with the I the usually sheets. put the two rubber bands together. So we pretty much have all the comb yeah, and frames Yeah, you're going to get cattywampus stuff where those spaces are if you have the uh, foundations. So well, just I don't know what I'm going to do. The sidewall we'll then? Put the three, yeah. Put them, yeah that's good. That'll exactly. Work. Put them yep. somewhere where they're together. Does this one have... Guys, this is all we got built out in here. So they got a lot of work to do still. Uh, the rest of it, and these three frames over are mostly just foundation. So they got a lot of work to do, but they do have a lot of nice food. I'll probably feed them. And uh, I think they'll go ahead and do just fine. Yeah, there's another thing to do right there. So we've got them flying around, don't we? I don't know. Well, one thing is you got queens. If you know, we don't see her, I'm not too worried about it. Just simply because you can use little bundles, obviously. Oh, there she is. Got her. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> Do we see the queen? Who's got a cage on? So I don't have to reach in my you know pocket. Here she is. Or are you just gonna release her? I don't She's know. uh. Well, there you go. She don't there have a spot. She's right there. So Ozar, that's good for you, Ozar, bro. She's a feral queen. Oh, that's a drone. Never mind. That's a drone. <laughs> Isn't it a drone? Tell me it's not a drone. That's a queen. Yeah, that's a queen. For sure. That's got her. Queen. Well, there you go. For sure. You found the you queen. You want to put us a wild pink so you know uh, she's a. Then I'll think she's from today. Sometimes you can find them in a little huddle spots. I do. Uh, I do. Let's see. My annual <laughs> removal in. We got the queen. That's good. Maybe they'll run up yeah. on there. And we shook them all out in front. We need something to get them up in there. They're going underneath it. But they smell the bottom. They yeah, smell the queen. Watch your idea. They were going underneath of the frame, under the box. A bunch of goofballs. So we just put that frame on top to give them a little ladder. Get in there. Them still sort out, they? Oh, yeah, they'll figure it out yeah, eventually. Yeah. They're under our cover. We're good. All right. So it's adventure after adventure, folks. You bring somebody down from Ohio and see what happens. He changes the plans all together, moves the frames over, has us do a removal. Totally changed the whole day. All right, on to the next adventure, guys. We're out here at so Bruce's Ozark is, Yard. Uh, Jay-Z, BZ, it's supposed to be a shipping box, but the problem with these things is no one really wants to ship these. But uh, where these are handy is just for local transport taking them out in the yard, throwing some queens in there. How they set up? So, these are just uh, JZBZ cages. There's little indents in the bottom, just like you have on your cell bars if you're using JZB stuff. Okay. The built-in cell bar in the bottom, so it's, it's kind of handy for snapping those in, transporting them. Uh, you're dropping in your hot bar salt protectors and queen cells in here to make nice little trays and go in your little incubator. They're just handy. Uh, we've marked a uh, special Pepto Pink just for Bruce, and we're gonna uh, try to see if we can't tone down some of these Let's just say girls that uh, maybe, maybe need an attitude adjustment. But you guys have heard, right? We love absolutes, right? So mean bees make more honey, right, Bruce? That's an absolute. Like all the time, every time, <laughs> every time. <laughs> so we're actually going to put in, try to put in uh, some, some smooth, calm ladies. Mm -hmm. Now you're not going to make any no, honey. I know. But at least you'll know which queens aren't making any honey because they'll be pink. That's right. That's right. You guys, sure. think, you guys think there's, is, is there absolutes in beekeeping? There, there is. There's probably about six. Yeah. Well, if you I kill a queen, it's gonna hurt a hive. That, yeah. They are gonna try and make a new one. That's pretty much an absolute. Kind Most of an absolute. Of, it's kind of. I won't say it's. They may not try to make a new one. Who knows? And you also but, have to have a queen. Or what if that was a drone laying queen? That's right. So there's there, there blows the whole absolute thing. <laughs> Very it's few absolutes. Busy, <laughs> so <laughs> many variables. Okay. One absolute is it's actually cool today. It is wonderful. You're out welcome. Here. I brought that weather I down with me. I think Greg brought it with him. It's not bad at all. This is awesome. Are we flipping these boxes? Is that what you said? Yeah, well. That's the only thing yeah, I want. That could be a problem. I don't know how that works with uh I I think you got I I'd, I'd probably leave them alone. They got enough numbers and they got sealed brood, so they're gonna have young. The bee whisper. Yes. Uh, the bee you guys whisper. are just, of course, these aren't the, the mean ones. 
Well, these were pretty nasty today, and those are, they, yeah, they were pretty nasty today. They're not being nasty at all today. I wonder why no queen cells is kind of weird. Maybe yeah, well, there's some right there. You got some queen cells? Yep. There you go. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay, <laughs> we're good. good. We're good. You know, I think that's definitely just clean. Oh, yeah, plenty of them. We'll stick it right on the, on the brood frame right there. And there's queen cells here. Clean it up slightly. Get rid of all those. In between the frames, and she'll be released here in two or three days and take over. Um. My has been through this one over here at the farm. We found some queen cells in there, no evidence, no eggs. There's one right there that's yeah, yeah, so definitely yeah. this is the one that's clean this thing to put the queen in there, so that's good. You gotta break down every single queen cell. Why do we do that guys? Why do we break down every queen cell? Well dig it. Well Mike, what do you think? Uh what I know is they can sometimes choose over uh that queen. Or when I put cells in I definitely don't want cells because they right. they can choose yeah, they'll the, uh, tend to, uh, I, I had that experience this year at Midland City, I I didn't get all the queen cells broken down, some of them chose the cells over the mated queens I put in there, and I lost, you know, I, I think those queens I bought for 30 to 30 bucks a piece, I lost a few of those. So, so is that so, which one you want to put on? I'm going to sure check that one real quick. Mm -hmm. Wherever where, where you got some brood. Yeah, I want to check this one back over again. Just got to make sure all just the queens sure. broken down. I like to break those down just in case, yeah, it takes you a little down. extra time, but Sometimes bees, they, they're, they're going to do what they want to do no matter what you're trying to do for them, even if you're trying to improve the colony. So by going in there and knocking down every potential chance that they have to make a queen, they just seem that they're way more readily available of taking the queen to give them. Yeah. Yeah, they prefer their own thing pretty much all, pretty much all the time, for the most part, it seems like. Let me see that, Mike. I, I'll put that a little bit lower. I put that a little too high. You don't want, you don't want a little extra honey in there. I'll make sure it's on the brood. You don't want to have honey dripping down in there. Yep. And once again, he puts this up and this down here. So in case any workers die in there, when there's uh, tenant bees, they won't block the exit. There we go. I like the other stuff. As well. Awesome. Two down, so more to go. I'm look at this one. They got an attitude problem. I know, that's <laughs> what I've been trying to tell you, man. Look at the stingers. You got them in your hand? Look at that. He just refuses to put gloves on. 
Oh, they got a little blood on that one. Oh, that's awful. Just awful. Look at your, look at your wrist. Oh, I'm going to put my gloves on now because he's, my wife watches that. He's, he's just trying to prove a point, folks. It's, you know, after the live stream, he's just trying to prove a point. There's, there's tough and there's dumb. Yeah, you, you decide. Well, you, you, you might have crossed the line. <laughs> well, folks, we are done with this yard. Bees were really rough in this yard, but that's his purpose. He's just trying to requeen them. We had to go through, check for eggs and cells, vice versa. Make sure the boxes, he did split, we're queenless, put the queens in. And we're done. We're going to the next yard. I think it was 11 queens, I think. Woo! We're at Grammy Midwife's house here in Ozark, Alabama. Wow, her bees are looking good. Look at that. But yeah, that's the uh, one I got over here. Y'all videotaping my weeds. I'm videotaping your bees. There's some <laughs> bees my out weeds here. In my failed oh, attempt looking. at putting up a canopy. It's pretty good, Lisa. Yeah, they are. Look at that one. They are very strong. This one I tried to do, I have six, and this split right here just. That's one I want to put one of the queens in. And then I want to split that one off and that one. So. Looks like your ventilation's working pretty yeah. good. Yeah. No kidding. We're not well, we left anything. that one open too far. And I came out here the other day, just threw my jacket on because they're pissy now. Mm. I think mine and Bruce's bees have been mingling. Because mine have an attitude change. <laughs> Well, they, uh, yeah, they're good and strong. Yeah, man. Uh, so this is where it all started right here. The first thing I got bees, I think it was April 27, 2013. I got the bees, I got a couple of nukes. My mentor put them in a 10 frame box for me, five frame nukes. And I pulled whatever kind of car we had back then, I pulled it right over here. I had a bar to bee jacket from a friend. I grabbed those jokers up, I walked them across the street. And I fed them, I don't know, one of these right here, probably right here, this might have been one of them. I set these two hives right down here, and that's how I got started. A couple weeks later, my brother had to have some, and he put his down there. So then I got two more. I put one more here and then one at my house. And that's pretty much how it all started. The first time I opened them up and, and uh, went through them, I was hooked. Here we go. Okay, those guys look good. I don't <laughs> see any eggs, no queen, plenty, plenty of brood. We'll probably put. So Mike's watching Greg work, and I'm watching Mike watch Greg work. Man, that's right. Double government job there. That's huh? right. <laughs> beautiful. What yeah. do you call them? Beautiful Appalachian mutts. Appalachian mutts. Yep. Now here's what we're talking about in most parts of the country is how bad everything's getting nectar bound. Mm -hmm. Some in there, but I think it's going to be. They're, okay. they're pulling it out today. Looks like in there, something. head first, getting the rest of it out. Let's see if we get around. Maybe. Yep. Look, yeah, the other are pulling it out. All right, there she go. On that one, I want to put it this way. Yeah, that's a nice full frame of brood next to it too. Yeah. So you're gonna have a nice explosion of bees plus a new queen coming out. So we placed the queens. Now we are strengthening up some of the smaller splits and nukes with some brood and bees. The bees have gotten feisty. We got clouds and such. They're not happy today. His bees are not happy bees. Ow, ow, I literally got one stinging me in the back. Ugh. Making bees. Hopefully making nicer bees. We broke Greg. He broke me. We broke him. He's got gloves. Over 80 stings to the hand as you saw in the previous clip.
right, folks, that's a wrap. We're done. We're tired, we're hot, and we're sweaty. And I got these two guys. So we're done with them all, these guys. Bruce, thanks for the opportunity to come down here. Man, thanks for coming. It was a good time. And you, all the way from Ohio. I mean, when I heard Mike Berry was coming down to four hour bees, I mean, I had to pack up the whole family, get in the family truckster. Right on south, we went. Regardless if you're going to Fort Myers anyhow, you well, still hey, were I mean, gonna... It's all about you, Mike, okay? <laughs> it's not about the beach or anything else. It's about you and Bruce and getting to spend time with guys that you that you really respect and you enjoy being around. I mean, what more can you ask for? Right. So what would you, what'd you think about his bees? I told him in the video, we broke you. You had to put gloves on. Yeah, the very... I, I can I can count on one hand the times I've had to put gloves on, and then t today was two of them. So, <laughs> there's that. But hey, that's that's you know the fun thing is, you know we, when you know someone does are doing things different, they've got different types of bees in different parts of the country. It's fun to hear that, but to go see it and to be right in there. You've heard me say context is key. Now when I hear Bruce talking about his bees, I know exactly where the bees are, what they <laughs> look like, how he does it, and that's cool. It is, and it means that a is, lot. That that, that right. is an absolute blessing to be able to put all those things together and to share that experience yep so you heard it from him you heard it from him you hadn't heard anything from me but i can tell you <laughs> i'm not sure you're I'm in sure it you guys are in it i got her on why see i'm scamming the, you think? Well, story, story. i mean we spend all day working yeah, bees you, together you, think, you fire them up to, 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 to get on me and then you close with a fat joke i mean i just when i thought i was liking this guy you'd think they knew something about camera work here <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, look, I appreciate all you guys joining. I really appreciate coming down here, yeah. Bruce, inviting us. He's showing us all his property, everything. It's a beautiful place. We are where, where are we at? This is Newton. Newton, Newton, Newton Alabama. Alabama. He lives in Dothan. We've been to... We've been to Dothan, Ozark. Ozark, and there you Newton. go. Newton. So we're done. We're going out to eat. Probably get a couple shots of that. But other than that, we're out of here. I appreciate all y'all watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you don't mind, of course. Thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, if you like it twice. Or no, if you like it twice, it's actually an unlike. That's right. Only like it once. You think they know something about YouTube? I'm from the YouTube fading guy. I mean, come on. Don't, don't have to well, look, twice. you guys have a wonderful evening. And I just wish you the best. May Lord God bless you. We'll see y'all later. And here's a get together. Look at Dirt Rooster down there entertaining. Great bird. There's Bruce. Got the whole crew. Have a good time after a good day. Had a good rest. Bird on a tree